Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from AnishTheFones.com and here's a quick look at Windows Phone 8.1. Now, this was announced a month or two ago at Microsoft's build conference and um, boy, is it an upgrade. Even though it's a 0.1 upgrade for Windows Phone, it does bring a whole lot of new stuff. Let's uh, talk about what's new over here. So first up, I have to talk about Cortana. Cortana is the cool new voice assistant for uh, Windows Phone 8.1. It's technically only available in um, the US right now with a rollout for China and the UK uh, coming soon. But getting it enabled outside of the US is an easy enough trick. Um, we have a separate video on that so you can check that out as well. Now Cortana is a Microsoft made new personal digital voice assistant of sorts on Windows Phone. It's named after the robotic virtual assistant from the Halo games on Xbox and she does a pretty good job. Cortana kind of has all the sass and personality of Siri or even more in some case. Um, but she also does provide you with information and keep track of the events just like Google Now does. Um, so if you tap the live tile you will see that it will show you uh, news or information that it thinks you're interested so in. So you'll see here it's showing me a couple entertainment news that things I might be interested in and science and technology news. Um, it's also showing me the weather. Unfortunately it shows the weather only in Fahrenheit right now because I've set my device to US region um, but when there's support for the UK and other countries I assume Cortana will be able to tell you the weather in Celsius. You can always just ask it to tell it to you in Celsius if you really need it to. Um, so Cortana keeps everything that it learns about you in this notebook over here uh, where you can add or remove things uh, for example your interests and what you think is important to you. Um, you can also ask it to remind you stuff. Uh, there's also quiet hours where you can schedule when your phone can be uh, basically in a do not disturb mode from a certain time every day to a certain time every morning. Quiet hours also reads your calendar so if you have set a meeting for a certain timing quiet hours will turn your phone into silent mode during the meeting automatically. That is very cool. Um, like I said, you can also allow an inner circle to break through your quiet hours if you need it to. Um, the inner circle is just people that you added who you think are important to you and etc etc. You can also set your home location and important places uh, that you need directions to. And last of all, you can also tell Cortana what to call you um, and sign into other things that uh, allow you more personalized recommendations if you needed to. Um, so Cortana works pretty well. We made a separate video on that, but all you have to do is hit the button over there and ask it a question. For example, what's the weather right now? It's currently 84 and raining. So you can also say, what's that in Celsius? Here's that temperature in Celsius. So Cortana is really smart. You can also say things like, remind me to buy milk when I go to the grocery shop. Remind you when you get to grocery shop. There's a so as you can see, it's very fully featured. It has a lot of functionality, more so than Siri and a little less than Google Now. So you can long press the search button to bring her into listening mode, or you can just tap the search button to see what kind of information she's pulled up that she thinks you're in into basically so that's pretty cool moving on Windows Phone has also gotten a couple of visual updates as you can see right over here uh, you can now choose to have your own photos inside the tiles in place of the standard start screen colors this is actually really cool you can just go to settings go to your start uh, section right over there and you can choose a photo or you can just choose a main highlight color if you want uh, regardless of that you can set this very cool um, wallpaper of your choice as a background and you'll see it has this very cool kind of effect when you scroll around that looks awesome uh, you can also see that your highlight color is still applied to the apps list section of the UI so it definitely looks nice and it does allow you to personalize your phone that bit more it's not all tiles work with the background so you will see for instance instagram and foursquare and twitter and mine don't change color um, but any transparent 
tiles, they changed the color with the uh, background. So this is pretty cool. You can set a fancy design or a picture of your loved ones, whatever you want. Of course, not all wallpapers look cool as a background, so your mileage will vary. But my favorite thing about Windows Phone 8.1 is the notification center. Yes, there's finally a notification center which lists all your notifications right there in one list. Microsoft calls it an action center, uh, but it kind of works just like the command center in iOS and the notification shade in Android where you swipe down from the top and you see a list of all the notifications as you get them in. You can also swipe halfway just to see your toggles. And yes, there are toggles at the top. You can set four toggles on a phone that is less than five inches. But if you have a huge phone like the Nokia Lumia 1520 that I'm using right now, uh, you have five toggles at the top. You can also set the toggles and choose what you want to see uh, right there. So you can choose uh, airplane mode for example or shot after the camera or brightness or any of these settings. Unfortunately you can't set a mobile data toggle. That's a little strange. Uh, I'm not sure why Microsoft has done that but it's definitely nice to have a notification center and toggles. Right now the notification center is just that. It shows you all the notifications right there. You can't actually reply to any notifications or expand them from yours. You will have to hit the notification to go to the app. Both Cortana and the action center definitely make navigating and generally using Windows Phone a lot easier and a lot faster. Apart from that, live tiles work the same way and they still come in handy. For example, you can set a weather tile to show you the weather or you can set a clock tile to show you the clock in case you don't want to see the clock up there. Um, you also see that you can see battery percentage now when you pull down the notification shade. So apart from that, multitasking works the same way. You long press the back key to go into multitasking mode and now you can swipe down to close an app which comes in very handy and much faster. Microsoft has also made a couple tweaks to the keyboard in Windows Phone. So now when you're typing a letter, you just need to swipe around the new uh, word flow keyboard. It works pretty well most of the time uh, and the word prediction is also pretty cool. It also um, kind of predicts emoticons sometimes. It's very cool and very handy. Um, I definitely like it. It makes typing way easier. Now Windows Phone always had the best keyboard on any platform so far. It's just gotten better now. Definitely like the Wordflow keyboard for sure. So that's all the major additions on Windows Phone 8.1. There's also a couple minor additions. For example, there's this thing called Wi-Fi Sense now. Uh, Wi-Fi Sense has an interesting way of working. It allows you to connect to public Wi-Fi hotspots without signing up for terms and conditions or reading any of that. Using this feature you can also share your private Wi-Fi with your friends who use Windows phones for example without telling them your password or something like that. That comes in handy as well. There's also now a cool new thing called Battery Sense. Battery Sense comes in handy because it'll tell you what apps are using your battery basically over here you'll see that Cortana is using a bit of my battery life um, it also tells you how much battery life is remaining and there's also a nice battery saving mode uh, where it'll conserve battery life whenever your battery is built over a certain percentage apart from that there's also now separate volume controls so when you press the volume down button you'll see that there's separate media volume controls and separate ringer control so you can now uh, basically change your ringer notification tones and keep your media loud um, or you can just put everything into vibrate if you want or turn vibrate off all from here comes in very handy definitely a fan of that I'm very happy that Microsoft has done this Windows Phone 8.1 also brings Internet Explorer 11 which brings one very important new feature it brings a reading mode so for example if you're reading a site and you don't want to see all the ads and all the clutter you can just hit that reading mode button over there which will pull out all the images and arrange them in a very nice easy to read manner um, so you can just read the text without having ads and other things thrown at you this comes in very handy if you're reading a site with way too many ads Apart from that, you can also now swipe to go forward or swipe to go back. Um, that is also something that's much appreciated. Now, apart from all of that, Microsoft's also pushing one more thing. They're pushing universal Windows apps. It's a great strategy where if you buy an app on Windows Phone, you can use it on your Windows computer. Or likewise, if you're buying an app on your Windows computer, you can use the same app on your Windows Phone, provided there are apps available for both platforms. Um, for example, here in this case, if I bought Skulls of Shogun, a very fun game on my Windows Phone, uh, you will see that it's also available on my tablet um, and you'll be able to sync all your data and your save games between um, both the uh, uh, tablet and the phone. 
So that is definitely appreciated because um, you can start playing a game on your tablet uh, or your Windows 8 PC uh, and then you can continue playing that game on your uh, Windows phone while you're going around uh, on your way to work or something like that. There are a ton of other under the hood things that Microsoft has done with Windows 8.1 but these are the main features that I thought I should talk about. Um, these are all welcome additions and it definitely makes Windows 1 feel like it's finally caught up with iOS and Android in terms of features. Everything works very well. I love the um, fact that you can set a wallpaper as your background on your tiles. I love Cortana. She works really well for me. Um, so this is all really nice. At the end of the day there's a lot to like about Windows 8.1. It's actually quite impressive that Microsoft has brought a lot of these features to the table. I'm not sure what took them so long uh, but Microsoft has finally closed the gap between Windows Phone and iOS and Android. Um, it no longer feels like a platform that's trailing behind by years and for the first time Windows Phone finally feels like a finished operating system that's no longer in beta. Of course for more information you can check out our review of Windows Phone 8.1 over at unleashedphones.com for a better idea and if you have any questions let me know right in the comment section below.